Is it on TV? Hi everyone, we're here at John Sadler's Auto Repair. And today I got a great video for you. I have a 2010 Toyota Corolla. My customer, Pat, she's used me from service in the past, and this time she's taking a trip to Colorado, and um, she wanted to go get some service done, so she went to her local Toyota dealership, and they told her she needed her timing cover resealed, and that she had a bad leak there. So we're gonna to talk to her in just a minute here. I'm gonna show you the invoice, what Toyota said. Because you know me that long enough, why just deal in facts? And so it says right there, timing cover resale. They recommend the following repairs. So and here's the consumer, Pat. Say hi, Pat. Hi. And so you went to the Toyota dealership. They told you your car's all ready, but you have an oil leak. And then Not where- Not the oil leak, but this, if this isn't repaired, it would be leaking and you wouldn't know it. And then all of a sudden there would be smoke. And that's why they told you you had to fix it right away? Yep, otherwise you couldn't make the trip to Colorado. Wow. Yes. And then you decide to leave there and come to my shop? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Get that second opinion. Thank you, Pat. So you can see that, you know, she's just going by. It, didn't, it just didn't sound right to her. So here's the front of the vehicle, 2010 Corolla. It's a pretty good shape. She's kept regular maintenance on it. It's only got 44,000 miles on it. Here's the timing cover, and there is no oil anywhere. There's a little cover, a little uh, at the top corner up there. It's a little tensioner cover. There's an O-ring that goes behind there. There's a little tiny bit of dampness right where that is, but the front timing cover is totally dry. Now, where they changed the oil yesterday, there's oil because they didn't clean off when they changed the seal ring. So there's oil all around there. And there's oil all around here where they changed the filter and they didn't clean it up. What I did notice on my inspection is that the wire right there on the oil pressure switch, which is this yellow wire here, well, you can see oil on the wire. So I unplugged the switch connector and sure enough, look at that, there's oil. So the oil pressure switch is leaking oil. And that's, what, that's the repair that she does need. So you can see oil in the connector. When oil comes out the wire, you know that the switch is leaking internally. And that can cause a problem, make the oil light come on when it's not supposed to come on. And of course, as it gets worse, that will make a drip of oil constantly coming out as the problem gets worse. But going back to what they talked about having her front timing cover resealed, that she might not make it to Colorado, you can see that statement from that sales or service advisor is totally false. So, uh, I'm making this video so you all know uh, to be careful when you go somewhere to get your car serviced. Just because it has the name Toyota on the front of it doesn't mean anything these days. It just depends on who the advisor is that's actually helping you. If the advisor wanted to help her, the technician would have said, oh, it needs an oil pressure steering unit. We did all your fluid services. We did your fuel injection cleaning. You're good to go. Have a nice trip. Instead, they scared her and told her she might not make it. And that's why I asked her to be on film with me today. Everybody, please be careful out there. Get second and third opinions. Find people you can trust. Double check their work. Thank you very much. Have a great day.